What's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy Jay Duck over here at Hookanucka and I have a special guest with me here today. Mystery guest. How's it going guys? This is Adam Hookah and Beyond hanging out here for a couple days with your boy Hookanucka. <laughs> and today we are looking at extra special flavor. This was just released. It is Fumari Tangelo. Ooh, so I know there's a lot of buzz about this. But Jay Duck, what are we smoking out of today? Today I am smoking out of my Omar Violin Chiller. I love this little hookah. It's so good. Um, I am smoking out of an Alien Bowl. And in honor of hookah and beyond being here, I am using foil, which he actually packed this bowl. And he folded it and poked everything, so it is awesome. I am smoking out of my AOT Carbon One Hose. Regular tap water in the base, mouth tips because we practice good hygiene here. Right. We do. So, what is the? Uh, what do you get from the smell of it? Kind of citrusy, um, a little bit of a sweetness, but it's definitely like a heavy citrus, almost a tart, sour, uh, kind of just reminiscent to a grapefruit for me when I first smelled this. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about the cut, how the leaves are, and how it looks? Yeah, for sure. We got a kind of a light color here, nice and choppy, typical Fumari. Um, it's a little bit juicy. It's not as wet as I've seen, but it's definitely juicy. So, uh, I don't know, would you say oh, typical yeah. Fumari? Yeah, yep, your typical cut, very light, undyed. So it looks very nice. So how do you think this is smoking for you? You want to go ahead and try some of this? I'm going to go ahead and hit it, <laughs> and we'll see some thoughts. You don't need to know about my setup. We're smoking something else. It's just whatever. This is the star today. This is the star of the show. As far as the smell for me, uh, I definitely got a nice citrusy smell. A uh, little fun fact, this was Fumari's mystery flavor, and now it is re released as Tangelo. And um, kind of like what Adam said, I kind of did get that grapefruit after he mentioned it, that note of grapefruit. Um, like I said, really citrusy and um, very, very tropical for me. I don't know if you got that. I, I got a very tropical sense of it. How's it tasting? How's it translating into the smoke? Well, first of all, these clouds. I mean, hello? Ripping. Like, it is definitely ripping. Uh, just like other Fumari, um, it does have a lot of glycerin in it, so it's just going to pull huge clouds. Very easy. Um, easy to heat manage, to. Um, we've got three Leonardo's, just regular foil. Uh, we just kind of left it in there for about 15, 20 minutes now, and it's just smoking fine. Flavor, I'm definitely getting a nice citrus, kind of like which translated from the smell, but I'm getting almost like a white grape. Um, it's, it's kind of in the aftertaste. There's a bit of a tartness in there, um, but that citrus is definitely on the forefront. To me, it's a pretty good marriage of flavors. Uh, I definitely like it. It's a little bit different for, for those of you that got a chance to try the mystery flavor. It's a tad bit different, but it's good. I like it. I like it. What, what are your thoughts? Um, it's funny because as the bowl's going on, um, I'm actually kind of picking up more of a hint of like a tangerine type of taste, like a, a creaminess, tangerine flavor, seem to have like a creaminess mm. to them, and so I don't know, you're probably picking that up now too, right? It's just, uh, it, it's quite nice in the beginning, it was just a little bit more on that, like, almost like a grape feel, and then it sort of, kind of all sort of blends together to, um, sort of just a nice blend, has a little of a citrus aftertaste, like almost like that grapefruit we were talking about, like kind of a little bit of a tartness to it, but it does have that sort of creaminess for me of like a tangerine. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I feel like I need to get my posture right because like he's, this guy's taller than me right now on the couch. Look at this guy. I can't let him best me on, on my video. What? No, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting that creamy note. Um, that's funny. Like this bowl's actually kind of changing a little bit as we're smoking. So that's kind of a mystery. I don't know if that's a coincidence or what? Now, if you guys don't know, Tangelo is a type of fruit. Um, it is sort of a, a tangerine type of fruit, uh, and it does exist. So I know a lot of people are kind of like, what's up with the name or whatever, but it is actually a thing. So um, I haven't had one myself, but um, now I'm going to have to try one out just to see how it compares with the flavor. So. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely want to try it out. It looks really appealing. I know they say it's, it was also known as a honey bell. Yes, I think they yeah, call it. yeah, honey bell. So that's pretty cool, a little cool fun fact. You definitely get that sweetness. It's, it's almost like a subtle sweet. I yeah, wouldn't say yeah. it's overly sweet. It's a nice subtleness to it. It's it's not overpowering, but it's just enough to really quench that sweetness. It's hitting pretty nice. So it, it's just... Speaking of hitting pretty nice, we're definitely getting stormtrooper clouds here. I'm sure uh, my lovely assistant will demonstrate for you all. Uh, but this thing is ripping, so you can definitely come to expect nice, thick, puffy stormtrooper clouds. 
Fantastic. You won't be disappointed. Fumari normally performs that way, so nothing new there. You know it's going to rip. Um, other than that, this is going to be available over at 5 Big shout out to Alex and Mary. Always holding it down for both your boys. Hey, a little remix there. Oh, yeah. And uh, you never pay full price when you're rocking with Huganaka. You all know that. So look in the description below. My discount code will be there. Knock 15% right off for you. It's just cool seeing you do it in person. <laughs> so. This is amazing. I, I'm going to give you guys a little bit extra here. Uh, aside from the review, uh, it's been amazing having him here. Adam is just, he's a great person. And I'm really glad I finally got to meet this guy in person, shake his hand. And uh, the hugs haven't started yet, but I assure you, the hugs are coming. But uh, he's just a great guy. I really wish I could have met him in Vegas, but this is definitely just as good, I think. So uh, thanks oh, yeah. for coming, man. Yep. And I would encourage any of you guys out there, meet up with local people that you smoke with. It's just invaluable. We were just hanging out with a bunch of people uh, from the Hook Enthusiast group, which is so fun. Um, and you would just be blown away by the social aspect of this hobby. So enjoy it to the fullest. And thanks for watching us. And you want to take us out? I will do that. Actually, I'm going to let you take us out properly. Hey. But uh, with that being said, stay tuned for more reviews, uh, more random uploads. And uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and take us out properly. Stay cute, America.